Welcome back to the show, my people. Now, as usual, the undefeated internet is at it again, and they have brought a rather controversial conversation on, like, the table for us right now, and they're talking about standing up for your partner, you know, giving the whole vibe of whether you're supportive or not. Of course, as you know, I'm not doing this alone. I've got Nigerian actor and television presenter Patrick Ekuem sitting right here, of course, ready to give us his opinion. You know, he's very, very... What's that word you say about your opinion again? Opinionated. I okay. say that I'm opinionated. Okay, very opinionated. Okay, yes. And of course, <laughs> our very own dark-skinned female Hi. presenter extraordinaire, <laughs> first of all, artist and the whole shebang, Hello. looking very gorgeous. She's a queen way for yeah. me. Barbie. You know, hi Barbie. You know, it's Barbie season, so we're all giving that whole Barbie. Hi Ken. No, ah. not with me. You guys can have that, not with me. So you are one wow. of those rogue people. Yes. Hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. I like it. Okay, <laughs> welcome to the show, you guys. Now let's start off with this tweet that you know we saw online. So this tweet from Danny that has over a thousand retweets says, "Whenever your friend or partner is accused of a crime, if your first instinct is to believe them." then why, if your first instinct isn't to believe them, then why are you friends with them? Now, yeah. this is a question I'd like, I, you know, I'd like to answer, I'd like all of us to answer, and also ask if we can, you know, without any reasonable doubt, stand up for our friends like this, like when something comes up, because you say you know your friend, so you're not going to, you know, you're always going to support your friend. Let me do like this first, because the way I'm your eyes looking at me. Oh, no, you know, you know, I think with my eyes sometimes. Yeah, okay, so like, okay, so, yeah. okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that if someone, if your friend, you say your friend does something, yeah, and you sort of doubt that the person actually didn't do it. I mean, if you actually think that the person did it, but yeah. your friend says they didn't do it. Yeah. I think that if you know your friend's personality or you know their character very well, you'll you be able to tell if. if they really did it or not. Like, if it's something that they could have done. If you really know the person well, and okay. you know the person is lying to you about whether or not you are saying thing this is as if somebody has done this thing to you, like you know, if you know just because you yeah, you know the person have, is lying. Do you have any you. experience? Like, I mean, I think we all do. <laughs> because we are saying, will you, do you want to spill? No. Uh, are you sure? Small, just a small tip. No, no, no. It's not even anything that deep. Well, I, I feel like we definitely wouldn't. If you know your friend, you'd you know. Yeah. You know. Okay, let me hear from you, Patrick. Yeah, I'm, I'm very much in agreement with what she said. I mean, if you do know the person, yeah. then sometimes, even when they lie, you're able to tell. Well, yeah. with that being said, sometimes with serious issues, I think you put that into consideration when you make friends. Because mm -hmm. now you're not just going to make friends with just anybody. anybody yeah. Yeah. And you make friends with someone who you know and you can vouch for. You know your friends. So mm -hmm. the song comes up and then they say, this person did this. Your first instinct is to defend them. It's like, this is my friend. I know I them. Know they they will not do that. And it's not because you're an all-knowing God and you know they're incapable of it. It's just that your default stance yeah. should be to defend, defend them. Friend. And then when it's proven that they actually did the thing, if it is proven that they actually did the thing, it should come to you as a surprise. If it doesn't, then you're a poor judge of character. Yeah. How are you Very making true. friends? Exactly, Very exactly. True. Okay, so now, Notorious replied this tweet saying, it depends on the crime rule. There are some things you tell my friends that I did and don't believe vice, and vice versa. And Danny further explained saying, it's not what I tell your friend that matters. It's what your friend tells you that matters. If you will believe me over your friend, then why are you friends with them? Exactly. So in this position, what's our stance? It's like I know people like to say, okay, there are some things that if I hear that this person did it, I'll say yes. But then... You know that this friend can't do that thing, but this friend said, I didn't do it yeah, at then this point. You take your friend's word because they're your friend, right? And you mm -hmm. believe them. So if they say that they didn't do it, then... It's a slight smile that Ayala is trying to hide. <laughs> that kind of... I don't really trust that if friend. They say that, if they say that they didn't do it and that they are being honest about it, then you should mm -hmm. believe them. Then you should okay. believe them. Okay. I mean, yeah. why, why, why is the person your friend if they tell you that they didn't do a thing and, and you, you cannot take yeah. down free you value? Exactly. Like, the, the idea of friendship, to me anyway is you should be in a position where if they did it, they tell you, yo, bro, I actually did this did thing, it? but can we like find a way to get out of this? And then you find a way to get out of it. But if they're telling you that they did not do the thing and you don't believe them, how are you friends in the first place? Mm -hmm. okay. Just to add one thing, I, I do have experience with this and I'll spill slightly. Spill. This, one is a, spill. this one is a family thing. It's really, really short. It's just okay. something my dad used to say. My dad would be like, he knows his kids. If you come to my dad, you tell him something Patrick did he would be like, that's not Patrick. Like, categorically, that's not Patrick. Now, that does not say that I'm completely incapable of doing that thing. For example, something like theft. My dad would be like, there's nothing they want to say. 
If you give Patrick a million dollars, he will mm. give you that million dollars tomorrow back. He's not going to steal your money. If you come... Very, you know, very virtuous. Now, thing. now. <laughs> that's not to say that if $1 million accidentally finds itself ah. in my possession, I don't know what I may do. But if eventually it's found out that I did steal money, my dad will be shocked. Yeah. And I think that's the same approach with mm -hmm. friendships where your natural disposition is yeah. to defend a person yeah. based on what you know about them, and it should shock you. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, saying, talking about like supporting them with Beyond That Dare to Dream, on Twitter I wrote, I'd rather believe my friend and later find out he lied to me than to not trust him and later find out I should have trusted my friend. Exactly. Living with it go too hard. Now, let's assume all fingers point to the direction of your friend, and your friend still says, I didn't do it. I mean, we've all agreed that we're going to obviously believe that your friend did yeah, not do it, yeah. do it, right? And it's yeah. like, with the, beyond reasonable doubt, you're ready to take a bullet for your friend. Yes. It's like, yes. To be honest, if I call you my friend, because I don't throw that word around very yeah. easily. So if I call you my friend, it means that, like, yeah, I'm writing for you, you know? You didn't do it. Okay, cool. You didn't I stand do it. By you. Ride or die. No, yeah, I mean, we're end. not dying, we're riding. Oh, 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 okay. We're just riding. Right, you know when he dies. <laughs> I like that. I always, I always be like that. You. No, it's, it's, it's exactly ride ride. the same thing. My, we'll ride. No mm. ride or die. But ride the, but ride. the point is, like, you will tell me if you did it. The way my friendships work, if yeah, it's, it's a you, like, free zone. exactly, yeah. I'm not the one prosecuting you. Okay. Tell me, I'm I like, will figure it I'll out. figure it's it out for you. It's a thing of shame. And the person is Maybe. too ashamed to say, to say it. it. Okay. But okay. I feel like even in those type of situations, eventually the person would tell you and yeah. you own up to it eventually. It might take a while, but then it's like, come on, you now made me look like a fool for the family. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I get that. Okay, so as tricky as these situations may be, I would say to a certain extent, knowing your friend plays a large role in this. And on that note, we're heading to the second part of this story that really had us on this track in the first place right after the break. Stay with us. Welcome back to the show, my people. Now, let's get right into the tweet that took us down this lane in the first place. Now, Sir Dixon on Twitter shared a screenshot of a lady's dilemma, which reads, I'm currently in a dilemma. I have... I have dated my fiancé for five years now and he recently proposed and we are planning towards marriage. The big issue here happened last week. We were discussing about this whole rape thing and then out of nowhere he threw the question if I was accused of rape. Would you believe me or the accuser first? I told him it's a very delicate matter and I can't jump to conclusions and defend wrongly. He got up, took his car keys and left. An hour later, he sent a text reminding me of a time I was accused of theft wrongly and he stood by me even when it affected him. Now, there was a time I was accused of diverting company money and arrested. My fiancé spent over three million to make sure the whole issue was resolved as he kept saying his wife can't steal. It took over four months to get the truth. How do I tell him being accused of theft is different from being accused of rape? I have dated him for five years and I know he can't do such from how we have been, but you can never tell. Now he is saying he can't commit to someone who can't stand for him in trial period and now slowing the marriage plans down. I don't want to lose this man. Now, I don't even want to talk about my personal opinion on this matter just yet. So my dear guest, what's the first thing that came to your mind when you heard this story? Manipulation. Ah! Mm. Straight, you see how you have been waiting for it? Like you have been waiting for to just say your mind. That's a bit manipulative, I think. Because, I okay. mean, why are you now saying you want to delay the wedding? Because, like, are you actually a rapist? Why are you thinking of the lowest points first? Okay. Yeah, but I think that obviously rape is very sensitive. It's a very sensitive topic. And a lot of men don't even realize that they could be tagged rapists. Do you yeah. understand? They don't realize that they're, what they're doing. Yeah. It's rape, do you understand me? Okay. So, you know, it's dicey. It's dicey. It's dicey. It's dicey. dicey. <laughs> Patrick, is it dicey? What's the first thing that came to your mind when you First thing that came to my mind, man needs a new spouse. Man needs to start working on a new relationship. He, okay. needs a, he needs a new woman in his life. You know? Okay. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. It, it goes back to what I said earlier. Friendship is different. This is a whole partner thing. Now, this man was in a position where he was willing to stand by you at risk of being proven wrong that you were actually a thief. Right? So he has 
There's a fina financial commitment you said he made to actually proving that she was not guilty yeah. and everything like that. And she also made mention of some of the quotes that he was putting out, like, my girlfriend or wife cannot oh, steal. Yeah. You, if, if you're marrying this person, how, like, you just said it yourself. This is what confuses me. At the end of her post, she said it herself. I know he cannot do this. So why don't you have that disposition if the scenario actually presents itself? But I think that she might have been coming from an angle of rape is a very sense. I can't blindly mm -hmm. support anybody in okay. a rape case because you actually never know the facts. The fact. in, in, okay. With theft, it's a lot different because did you steal it or did or you did not, you steal, not it? steal it? Evidence is there. Do you understand me? But with rape, it's like the girl might have felt violated and maybe it's not outright rape. You understand me? Maybe okay. he, there was not the actual. But like she might have felt that he violated her yeah. in some ways and he just felt like... It was hey, just... we're having a good time. Okay. Do you understand? So it's, it's very... It's like, very... Yeah. It's dice very... Okay. So, Danny on Twitter wrote, if he has not collected back the ring, please return it. If you think <laughs> he's capable of rape, then why are you getting are you married there? to him? And this, I got to say, is my exact thought process. I mean... But then, Oye Banji on Twitter now wrote, let me begin with this song. Something fishy is going down for every act. So for every action, it's always pre-planned in our heads before we speak it out. Don't be fooled by acts of help. Some people will assist you only to exploit you in the future. Stay vigilant as I have experienced something similar, not in the context of rape, but in someone standing by me only to ask for something bigger later. Mm -hmm. I couldn't say no more. I couldn't say no because of the previous help. My dear, be thankful and remember, if he walks away, he was never truly your man. Even if he comes back, you better be careful. It's not worth fighting. Hmm. Yeah, that's why I said what? it's a bit manipulative. Okay, so what do we, what do we think of, of Oyebanji's point of view? It's like, he's saying... Basically, I think what he's saying is that it's possible that this man has either done or is planning to, to do, do something... And, and it's like, so he's, he's basically the preparing the, yeah, for her mind. Well, I feel like from, from where Oyebanji is coming from, I, it, it just more, more looks like you're talking about a friend that did this to you. And truth be told, sometimes these kind of things can happen with friends, but it is somebody you're planning to spend the rest of your life to with. To be honest, people think in very warped ways, you know. Like, I might want my partner to be loyal to me with whatever the situation might be. So I will start to sow the seeds from early. Do you understand me? Exactly. Yeah. And like when you start to do things like that and the person realizes, man, this person is really there for me. I'm going to stand by you with whatever it is you're going through. Yeah. That's, that's, that could be a form of manipulation. Do you get me? I'm not saying that he's a rapist or he plans to rape, but it could be seen it could as, be yeah, it could be that. Preparing the ground. Okay. Now, Ejika or Dika on Twitter thinks the lady dodged a bullet. He wrote, because you assisted someone doesn't mean they will assist you. That's transactional. To start with, you wanted a sincere answer, and she answered. Rape is a big thing, and she was right with whatever she said. What, what will put a man that's about to be married in a situation of getting accused of rape? Now, that question is fishy, and my sister, you dodged a bullet. Always stand on your truth and don't compromise your truth because you want to be married. Now, we all know that there's been false cases of rape at some point, you know, and I don't think this has anything to do with being in a situation where you're accused of that. But here, Salako on Twitter, you know, on the other hand, thinks that the guy dodged a bullet. He's saying that, oh, the guy dodged the bullet that she looks like she's, you know, steadily drinking feminist juice on Twitter. Oh, on. So, <laughs> are we for, you know, the guy that says she dodged a bullet or did he, did he dodge a bullet? Who dodged a bullet here? Well, the, sorry, let me just say, in the event that she has dodged a bullet, we're dealing with the very real hypothetical scenario mm -hmm. where... He has either raped someone before or, or he doesn't mind he, doing it. It looks like it's something that he might do and he wants to. But here's the thing, right? If he does do something like that, the, the possible consequences do not just come from his wife. There are legal consequences. Yeah. And if the evidence backs up that you actually did it, then it doesn't really matter if your wife believes you or not. You're going to jail. So the thing is, I mean, it kind of matters, you know, if it, your partner believes you, like whether you're not, you're, whether you're in jail or not. If the person I'm with believes, if I'm in jail for okay. something I did wrong, yeah. like that I didn't do rather, mm -hmm. and the person I'm with believes me and says you didn't do this thing, you're seven I times mean, yes, but I yeah. believe that you didn't do it. You know, that that does matter. I, I think okay, maybe it does matter, but you're still you're still going to be behind bars. Yeah. So my point is, if you're going to get married to someone, and then first of all, vet the person. I know we say like rape is actually a very, very sensitive thing, but I actually feel like theft itself is actually very sensitive. Mm -hmm. And it has a Especially dynamic. It's like corporate. You yeah, know, it's not just a like, regular pick something. There, there is the a dynamic to theft that actually goes. There's so many different ways people can steal in the same way that there's so many different ways that you can have a rape 
accusation. Yeah. It doesn't have to be someone forcing themselves on someone, and it doesn't have to be someone with a gun robbing someone. It, yeah. it can be very, very contextual. But if you're going to get married to someone, you say you've been dating them for five years, and you are not in a position to say categorically, unless you can provide, and this is the thing, it's a very hypothetical scenario, yeah. you just gave a question, but if you come out with evidence, until you come out with evidence to back up, you have a video showing me, I'm seeing my wife, she actually stole this money, I hold my hand on my chest and I'm like, okay, I was wrong. You guys are right. I am as disappointed as you guys. And it's got to be the same thing for her. Yeah. If, if he's asking her that question and she's already like on the point of accusation, someone accuses your man, your man is a rapist, and your first instinct is not immediately to back that, like, like back no, your man up until they provide the evidence. I don't want to get married to someone like that. Which is okay. very fair. Okay, okay. So did she dodge a bullet or did he dodge a bullet? Um, I'm not sure who dodged what bullet, but my <laughs> take on this is i think that if you've been dating somebody for five years yeah. you know the person right if i've been with somebody and i know him i know he's a gentle person he's a gentleman he's this and you say if they accuse me of rape i'm like of course not because i've been with you for five yeah, years i know, I know you, you to an extent do you understand me if you if you were accused of rape maybe you were in another like your brain was not in your head do you I understand mean, me there are people that you can them, vouch like, for ah. because you know their character there are people who can be slightly aggressive. You know that, you know, if this person, tendencies. yeah, tendencies. you have the tendencies. It's possible. So if she, off the bat, didn't say, come on, I know you, no. I yeah. think she dodged the bullet. She dodged the bullet? Or yeah. he dodged the she bullet? She dodged the bullet. Okay, okay. Yeah. Maybe, if, maybe, uh, maybe they both dodged yeah, bullets. You never, yeah, you know, you know, maybe. It's just not meant to be. Of, of course. Now, honestly, I don't, I, didn't, I don't know what people are doing trying to get into marriages, you know, or you know, work with a person that they do not fully trust. And while we, we might, you know, want to put it on a blanket of, you know, you truly don't know people, I believe you should, without any doubt, know the tendencies and capabilities of the person you are trying to spend the rest of your life with and be ready to vouch for it, like on your life, be ready to vouch that this person can't do that. And in case, in a case where the person proves to disappoint, you should be shocked. You should be as shocked as the world, not expect, mm -hmm. not like you're expecting because no one really knows who anybody can be. You should be shocked with the world. That's how it's supposed to be. Well, anyways, the itchy itch is knocking on our door and we'll get right into it after the break. It's about time for the itchy itch and today's itch is a twit from Trev that reads, a guy's apartment will tell you if he's dating or not. Now, a South African lady said, if he has a hair dryer, an air, dry, an air fryer, red flag. Another lady, he says, a man with full skincare range, red flag. Another said, if he has a diffuser, then I know. And the list goes on and on. I really do not know. Can a guy's apartment really tell if he's dead? I want to start with Patrick on this. And then I want to find out from you, Amela, like, what we would see that would make you know that this guy is dating. Can a man's apartment let you know if he's dating or not? Probably yes. I think so. Because I don't even know what, what's a diffuser. What is that? You know the for the, it's for like the air, air diffusers. diffusers. So, so it's inside like oil and then it just you put the sticks oil. in the oil and then it just like okay. you know okay. all that nice okay. air. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just a really quick really quick <laughs> moment with the audience here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys notice one thing, they both knew what it was. I had no idea. If you have a boyfriend you walk into his apartment and there's a diffuser in no, there. No, I don't agree. Man. I actually don't agree. Because okay. there are men I know who are very into like their space. Smelling away, feeling away, okay. you know, they really are into that, the whole, and they're not dating, they're actually single men, but they really they like, like the whole good, you know, self-care I know treatment. somebody who doesn't play with his skincare, he okay. wears sunscreen, he's a straight man, but okay. he really just enjoys taking care of himself and, like, he has, he's not dating. And you don't feel like he probably learned this at some point when he dated somebody that was all about skincare it and could, He could have picked it up from somebody, yeah, it could it have could, been, it, could, it could, have. could have been that he's just really interested in it, it could have been from his mother as well, it could okay. have been from anywhere, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the person is dating. When you find underwear in a man's house, ah, I was going to ask you what you would find. Underwear, on tampons. 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 Yes. <laughs> Hair strands. Like, what did he do in your house? Yes, straightener. Me. Like, why do you have these type things? things? It's also, it's also, there's also, like, in the reverse, there's, there's a reverse case. You know, like, you meet yeah. a girl, you guys start talking, 
you love her company, can you be my girlfriend? Two months down the line, she's coming to your apartment, you guys are playing video games, and this girl is good at video games. What did you learn? <laughs> she has brothers. She has brothers. She has brothers. She has brothers. Hey, hey. And male friends, yeah. Mm -hmm. And male friends, yes. right? Okay. <laughs> I'm allowed to the rescue. Yes. For the ladies. Okay, okay. I mean, maybe if we, I feel like if we stop being sneaky, these calculations will not be very, ne it won't be so necessary. Be bad by people. Stay with your person in peace. Stop painting the streets of Lagos and the world with your red flags. Stop painting it anyhow, okay, you guys? Don't forget to be kinder on the internet until I see you next week. Yagazira Guitar, have a nice day.